Outside's a bad place for tourists these days. Oh, there he's gone to hell. Sauvages. Nice. The Astral Lounge got you down. You're in the right. This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never. Ugh. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the Strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. I mean, the strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the disciples. Now look at us. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. <sighs> oh, nothing. Joining us now is great. People are banging down our door to go down with this ship. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. people around here anymore we shouldn't be doing that anyhow you want to join us we're a gang you understand that right not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about we steal we mug we kill if we have to people that come to us have usually run out of options so are you really interested There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line, but I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Not so fast. 
I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Now you are speaking my language. Good. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Don't break a leg. <laughs> because it's because it's an audition. Uh, whatever. We love a jail and have a dream. Never met the boss. Look, does this operation even have a boss?
can't believe you're There's no shame if you just walk this. away and go back to your pretty little life. Huh. So you did the job, and nobody had to die. That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a patch for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. I get you today. New customer. Bienvenue. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. Blech. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Oh, well, thank you very much for the compliment. I'm told my family tree traces itself back to Europe, on Earth. Specifically the region known as France. A long and proud history, no? Finally, someone who listens and does what they're told. A rare commodity in Ebside. I like you already. Hmm. So, what can Madame Sauvage get you? Have you come to try Velocity, perhaps? Or do you prefer something with a little less kick? It's nothing less than heaven in a glass. As though the universe itself was resting her lips on yours. My own... personal creation. Do you want information? Go read a book. You want a drink? Talk to Madame Sauvage. That's how things work in my place. Of course, of course. Anything for my special new customer. On my home planet, we have beautiful beaches. And during certain times of the year, the ocean lights up in beautiful spectrums of color. Now, science will tell you that this is from tiny microscopic organisms that are emitting bioluminescent light. But I believe it's so much more. I think it's a dance, a celebration. It's nature's way of giving thanks to the sun for nourishment. It's breathtaking. That is the essence of Velocity. It's a toast to nature and all its splendid wonders. A sudden merger of humankind to the cosmos. Administrator Bayou has forbidden any place other than the Astral Lounge from selling Aurora. Now, if Euphorica wants to sell it in their members' lounge, or Lagrand wants to mix it into Blend, that's their choice. What? I prefer to stay off of Bayou's radar and keep Neon security off my back. Unfortunately, that will have to remain my secret for now. It's safe if the identities of the involved parties remain anonymous. Let's just say I was owed a substantial debt, and the bar was how I got paid, and leave it at that. We'll see you again soon, yes?
streets will devour any who don't respect them. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. We are more alike than I thought. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. Oh yes, every day a different struggle. To stay alive, to stay good in the head. But the Strikers and Briggs took me in, gave me a family. I will do anything to protect them. And I mean anything. You are funny. Funny won't keep you alive. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood. But I say, make the disciples bleed at every chance. Good. If you need things, too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. have here decided to drop by on neon and do a little vandalism huh there's a steep fine for that zero tolerance 
Tell you what, you pay the fine now, and I'll let you off with a warning, or things are going to get messy. Maybe, but as soon as you started putting up the striker gang sign, that crosses the line. You know how it is. I'm trying to figure out how to help you. Nobody wants that. Fine, fine. Just get out of here.
think you're gonna fit in well. Really well. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Then today's your lucky day. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mil-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back, with interest. Now's the time for the strikers to make a comeback. Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I'll be telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. Yeah, you better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Zeno fresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Xenofresh, being the class act they are, they fired him, and later even sued him. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons cache, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Well, Briggs ain't the only one thinking round here. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. The disciples are gonna pay for all they've done. Maybe you'd like to try a velocity? Nothing like a velocity after a rough shift at Xeno. Makes you forget how bad you still.
<laughs> we got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hey, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. And then no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. New fish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Go in guns blazing? We hold back? You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it, works for me. You heard the plan. Let's do it. It's time for the disciples to leave. Time is over. Downstairs, now! Neon security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence. A bit of murder. Word is, all this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? You wouldn't know the first thing about my job. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing neon security black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. The best way to fight gang violence is getting your own pet gang. Trust me, they'll fit right in on the force. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? 
Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a... a cop. Shit. We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Pepside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? That's Neon for you. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, know we'll be forever grateful. Our goal was always to survive. Now we have a chance to thrive. Here's your cut. You better believe you earned it. See you around. I still don't know what to think. Finally! I can leave this garbage dump! You guys did this? It's almost impressive. Almost. Manaya Adams was looking for someone discreet for a job. Apparently, I don't qualify. 